Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be doing my long-awaited pink iMac review. So I've now had the M1 iMac 24 inch in pink for a good few months, so I feel well equipped to give you a full review of the computer for streaming, console gaming, video editing, basic word and number processing, and just the overall feel for it. So let's start with the design. Now the M1 iMac comes in what I think is a beautiful selection of colors with the pastel color on the front of the computer and the darker version of the color on the back. So you guys should know by now that I have a ridiculous, a ridiculous obsession with pink. So obviously I had to choose a pink iMac. However, it's not pink on the back, it is red on the back. And usually when text marked as pink, it tends to be more of a rose gold. I don't know, they like the more metallic kind of techy materials don't really mix with pink that well, they kind of end up turning rose gold. But no, this computer on the front is a beautiful, beautiful pastel pink colour. The computer itself is, as well, it's super slim, it's super lightweight, I can literally pick it up so so easily, which I think is amazing because it makes manoeuvrability amazing amazing so you can literally just pick this computer up and move it wherever whenever without any struggle and this is coming from me and i'm obviously not the strongest person in the world we know when i do my twitch streams i can do one push-up moving on <laughs> this screen is a 4.5k retina display and it is just incredibly beautiful it feels really easy to look at the screen is just insane even when playing games i literally have no issues the only thing i would say is just be careful where you place the computer as i currently have it next to a window as you can see and in the morning when the sun's beaming in the screen is slightly reflective so that is a minor issue i would say but it's not like a massive deal it's not horrendous it's bearable So let's talk about performance because as you may or may not know, I use this computer for streaming, console gaming for a capture card, video editing, digital design, uni work, word press processing, you name it. I literally use this computer for everything I do now. So in terms of streaming and gaming, I have not had any issues with the computer itself. There's been a couple of times where OBS has shut itself off, which was a bit weird. And there's also a case, there's also times where like when I window capture from like YouTube or like videos online, if I click back on OBS rather than staying on the window capture tab, it does lag a little bit, but I don't know if that's OBS itself or whether it's the computer. I'm not too sure, might be my internet, who knows. But in terms of actually gaming, I haven't had a single issue. Like I used to use just a 30 pound cheap capture card off of Amazon. And even then, like it was working fine. We then upgraded to the Elgato HD 60S Plus, which it just works a dream. Like I, I wouldn't say it's like a hell of a lot better, but you can tell that it's slightly better. But as someone who's always loved Apple products to work on and the simplicity of everything within their software, I'm so glad they've brought out this M1 chip. As uh, prior to this, I had the MacBook 2020 with the Intel i7 chip, which was diabolical. It was horrible to stream on, it was horrible to game on. It's just not the com laptop you wanna get if you're a streamer. It was awful and i never want to go back there i do tend to i do occasionally use it for baking streams and even then it struggles all i'm doing is streaming i have all of the tabs closed i have all of the tabs closed and it struggles so yeah don't don't recommend the macbook 2020 for a streaming computer or a gaming computer because it lags a hell of a lot it's just not it's just not what you want. So before I actually got the M1 iMac, I was umming and ahhing between getting this or getting a Windows gaming laptop because I was told a Windows gaming laptop is super powerful, it won't lag when I game, it won't lag when I stream, and that was kind of selling it for me because all my experiences with Apple products and the MacBook for streaming and gaming, I don't even want to talk about it. It was awful, it was horrible. But you know what? I am so glad. So glad that I went for the M1 iMac because as an Apple lover, I really, really love Apple products, guys. They, I just think they're so simple to use and I just, oh, I love it. I love it. Obviously, Apple is not notorious for gaming and being that kind of computer, but I am so glad that I chose this as it has just worked a dream for everything that I need it for. I'm four to five months in now 
we have still had no issues. It's not got slower, it's not lagging, it's not crashing. So yeah, in terms of performance, I think this computer is incredible. And obviously I've been able to stick to my beloved Apple products, which I said earlier, obviously I much prefer to a Windows system. I just think it's so much simpler and it's just so easy to use. So next let's talk about the webcam. Can you believe that I am filming from the webcam? Damn! Can you believe it? I'm literally, this, what you're seeing me on, I'm using the built-in webcam. The built-in webcam. The quality is insane. I expected to be using my Logitech C922 webcam before, before this computer arrived as I've just never had a built, decent built-in webcam on a laptop or computer. They're usually super noisy, the quality is usually pretty poor. But this webcam is actually a hell of a lot better than my Logitech webcam because the colors never need adjusting. This is literally the default setting. I have never messed around with the settings at all. So this is a huge win for me because it means less wires to plug in, no actual physical webcam just bulking up on the top of the screen, no messing around with settings every time the lighting changes. It just automatically, it automatically knows. It knows what it's doing and it's just incredible. The quality is there, it's 1080p. I was just so impressed. I was so impressed. When I first started to go, when I went to stream for the first time on this computer and I added my video capture source and it was the built-in camera, I was like, you know what, let's just try it. Let's see what it's like. Oh my goodness. I was so impressed, guys. I can't stress this enough. The webcam is incredible. So let's talk about the ports because this was a huge issue for me as I hate having loads of wires and things hanging everywhere because it can just get super messy super quick. The M1 iMac only has a headphone port and two USB-C ports, which I currently have a USB-C docking station and a USB-C charging cable, which comes with the computer to charge your keyboard and mouse, which are obviously both wireless. And I think I've only charged them once since having this computer, which I think is great. For four to five months, four to five months, I've only had to charge them once. I think that's great. It'd be nice to plug in all my USB devices, like my mic, my headphone, my capture card, etc., directly into the computer. But unfortunately, you can't have everything. And I think you would probably, I feel like Apple would probably need to sacrifice other things just to get all of these ports added to such a slim, lightweight computer. So yeah, if you're thinking about getting the iMac, you'll definitely need to invest in some kind of docking station, depending on what you need. I'll leave a link to the one I use in the description. For streaming and gaming from a console through a capture card, it has got plenty of ports. It's got an ethernet port, etc. So I'll leave that in the description for you guys if anybody needs it. So moving on to the features now. Let's talk about the mouse and the keyboard. They come in matching colors to your computer, which I think is adorable. It is adorable. I love it, even though these are actually like a metallic rose gold, like I was talking about earlier. Not quite the same pink. As you can see, it's like reflective. It's more of that rose gold color rather than the pastel pink, but it still matches. You can still, it all looks very cohesive and it all aesthetically links. I still love it, even though it is a slight rose gold color. Now, I know a lot of people actually hate the Mac keyboards because they are so thin, they're small, they're lightweight, they kind of move around quite a lot if you've not got like a rubber mat and they're not really at an angle like a proper keyboard, they're very much like flat. They've got slight lift in it, but it's not like a proper keyboard, it's completely different. But I love it. I love the Apple keyboards because it is so light and it is so thin and it is so easy. Like when I'm pressing the keys, it feels like I barely have to touch them. It just kind of happens. Like, you know, when you're typing on your phone, it feels like that. And that's what I love about Apple. Like it's just so easy and simple and smooth. It makes my life easier because on a Windows laptop, for example, I feel like I have to use all of the energy and all of my minor my all of the minuscule strength i have in my body to press down on the mouse it is the most annoying thing with the apple mouse it literally is so easy it clicks it clicks it clicks it just clicks so easy it's beautiful it really is and i feel like if you're not an apple user and you're thinking about changing over it probably will be very different for you to begin with but i think 
it will probably grow on you because now I think the ease of it and taking away that tiny little minor hassle of like actually physically having to forcibly click something I am over exaggerating yes but it's still easier than a Windows computer to actually press and type and yeah it makes a huge difference in terms of user experience in my opinion so I love it. So overall, I absolutely love my M1 iMac, as you can probably tell, and I honestly highly recommend for whatever it is you're doing. I'm not quite sure that Apple are ready for PC gamers, as I know a lot of PC games are unavailable on Apple products, but hopefully in the coming years, they will think more about this and become more accessible for gamers, because I do think they're on the right track, and if you're wanting to play and stream from a console, this computer is perfectly capable, and I'm yet to have any issues. The only other con is obviously the ports, but again, this is minor and can be solved with a docking station, which I will leave links to in the description again. So yeah, that is my full review of the M1 iMac. I really hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will be happy to answer them. And I will be back next Friday with another video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, guys, if you made it this far in the video. It really helps the channel and I appreciate you all. And I will see you next week. Bye, guys.